Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be learning about homonyms, homographs, and homophones. Coming right up. So guys, what is a homonym? A homonym is a word that is spelled the same, pronounced the same, but can have multiple meanings. A homograph is a word that is spelled the same, pronounced differently, and has multiple meanings. A homophone is a word that is spelled differently, pronounced the same, but has different meanings. So what made me think about doing a lesson about homophones, homographs, and homonyms? Hmm. Well, we just had daylight savings time on November 3rd. What is daylight savings time, you ask? Well, daylight savings time happens twice a year. In the spring, we move our clocks forward one hour, and in the fall, we move them back one hour. But Sean, that still has nothing to do with the topic, but it does. How do you remember which way to move your clock, one hour ahead or one hour back? Well, luckily, in North America, we have an expression, and it goes like this. Spring forward, fall back. Huh. The two words we're talking about here, spring and fall, are homonyms. Because in your head, most likely, when you think about spring forward, you think of someone jumping forward or moving forward. And when you think about fall back, you're probably mentally picturing someone falling backwards. But this reference is towards the seasons of spring and fall. Now I know in other parts of the world they use the word autumn, so this expression would be meaningless to them because you can't say autumn back. Let's go check with the expert in the UK and see if they use this expression over there. Gino from Real Everyday English. Hey Sean, thanks for calling me in on this one mate. It's much appreciated. So the saying is spring forward, fall back. I have to say that I like the saying, it's super cool, and it makes it super easy to remember which way the clocks go at which time of the year. But here in the UK, we don't use it because it's spring forward, so that would be fine, that would match with our dialect here. But fall back really wouldn't match with our dialect because we don't use the word fall to describe the season which is the interval in between the summer and the winter. We use the word autumn. So in this case, it wouldn't work for us here in the UK. This little discussion has brought me to my next point because spring and fall or autumn here in the UK are seasons of the year. And season as a word is actually a homonym. So it has more than one meaning, which I'm going to describe some of them now. So the first one is season. Each of the four parts of the year. Winter, spring, summer, fall or autumn. The next one is season as in to add spice or flavorings to food. So, for example, if I add this, you can see there it says seasoning. If I add this to my food, I season the food. And the last meaning of the word season is a set or collection of related TV programs. So you will often hear the phrase season one of this particular series, season two, of this particular TV program. So that's all from me guys. I'm gonna hand you back into the very capable hands of Sean at 399 English. Sean, thanks a lot for having me on this video and I appreciate it a lot. Till the next time buddy, take care. Hey, that's great Gino. Season, yes, that is also a homonym. So, so far we've only talked about homonyms. I actually have two more that I wanna share with you before we move on. Staying with the theme of seasons, weather, and time, what about leaves? Leaves is a homonym. 
because the leaves are what fall during the fall season. Maybe that's why we call it fall. But leaves can also be used to describe someone or something leaving. So, as summer leaves and the winds blow, the leaves begin to fall. So there you go. I used the word leaves twice in one sentence, and both times they had different meanings. What about another one? Hmm. Date. Date is a romantic encounter with somebody, but it's also a period of time. So we'll have to set our date on the date of November 3rd. Okay, twice in one sentence again. And again, same pronunciation, same spelling, different meaning. So yes, while there are a ton of homographs, homophones, and homonyms out there, I'm going to stick to just the theme of seasons, weather, and time. So I'm going to give you one example of a homograph and one example of a homophone. And I want to see if you can add any more in the comment section below. So starting with homograph, let's go back and review. What is a homograph? A homograph is a word that is spelled the same, pronounced differently, and has different meanings. So, one that I can think of, as the wind begins to blow, it's time to wind your clocks back one hour. So, I just used the word wind and wind in one sentence, and they're both spelled the same, but different meanings. So, what about homophones? Again, let's review. What is a homophone? A homophone is a word that is spelled differently, pronounced the same, but has different meanings. So, what example could I come up with? Well, actually, we already came up with this earlier in the video. Our, O-U-R and H-O-U-R. They're both pronounced the same, but spelled differently. So, in North America, we have to change our clocks back one hour. See, I just pronounced the word the same, but it's spelled differently and it meant two different things. So I know you guys are smart. You're going to come up with a bunch more in the comment section below, but remember, stick with seasons, time, or weather. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you can't come up with any answers, comment below to show some love. And if you want to learn some more, you can check out these videos over here. I'll see you over in the next video. Peace.